seems as though there is a bit of a reality check which is coming in for a couple of stocks. Bajaj Finance would be case in point. Stock has gained over 70 odd percent year to date and now down around 2 odd percent reacting to what was cautious commentary from the management. No, absolutely. And, uh you know, I, let me first read out the quotes. This is uh, Rajiv Jain, the managing director of the company, who actually was making these comments on the conference call uh, after the results. So, uh, so what about him? Let me just quote what the commentary was. And I quote, for the first time, uh, you would fundamentally see that in the consumer durables loan portfolio, in terms of management assessment, you have actually turned that into yellow. I probably turned that to yellow in after a good four years. Mm. I mean, he's essentially talking about lowering his bullishness mm. uh, as far as the uh, uh, prospects for the consumer durable business is concerned. The second quote, uh, and I quote, it would also have some degree of impact in the volume that will come through uh, in Q3. Right. Uh, so that is uh, the impact that he sees on the consumer durable side coming through in the third quarter, October to December, the quarter we're in right now. Uh, then the third, the third uh, quote which I want to uh, put out is, we have consciously slowed down growth in the consumer durable portfolio as we thought it's appropriate that we make the decision now rather than run through the season and see poor portfolio performance affect us in Q4 of 16, that is Jan to March, mm. and f the first quarter, uh, which is April to June uh, of uh, financial year 18. So instead of uh, seeing the portfolio, the consumer durables lending portfolio uh, deteriorate, uh, you know, by doing sort of uh, lending, aggressive lending now, we decided not to do that. We slowed down the portfolio so that we don't have to face the pain in later quarters. Mm. So uh, this is just the consumer durables portfolio. Now, uh, you know, Abhishek was telling me that the consumer durables portfolio is about 12-13% of the overall book, mm. the assets under management of Bajaj Finance. So it's not that big. And uh, to be fair, the management on the same call, Mr. Rajiv Jain, the managing director on the same call said, well, apart from this, uh, this particular area where we are cautious, pretty much all other areas are, have done well. And we see, uh, you know, in a way, a runway which is pretty clear for growth for the next number of years. Hmm. So that being said, I think this still raises, uh, I think it's still worth highlighting. The other big player in the consumer durables financing side on the NBFC side is capital first. There are many others who do the business, but in a way, uh, I mean, if you look at the numbers, it's 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 kind of a duopoly yeah. uh, between Bajaj Finance and Capital First as well. So if you can put Capital First up as well, because I think these uh, uh, this this commentary here uh, would be important to note uh, in the case uh, and and what it does for uh, Capital First and when they report numbers and whether we see the same kind of uh, commentary for the consumer durables finance business. Uh, otherwise, I think, you know, the, the point is stocks have done so, so well. 500 rupees uh, on uh, Bajaj Finance, what, eight months back, November last year or so. It's at about 1,070. Capital first, uh, similar kind of performance, huge run up and uh, little scope for disappointment. I think that's the point here. So even if it's 12 percent, the point is, are we talking about incremental NPLs down the line? We don't know that. Hmm. Maybe they'll manage things quite uh, nicely. As hmm. they said, they're slowing lending already in that segment, and they have in the second quarter consciously. Uh, so maybe they'll be able to manage it, contain it. But I think it's an area for watching. Yes, 